Attorneys for Donald Trump asked for a mistrial today as the cross-examination of E. Jean Carroll continued. She is suing former President Trump for battery and defamation. Mr. Trump's lawyers filed a motion for a mistrial claiming rulings the judge have been has, has been making all favored Carroll. The motion was denied. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor was in the courtroom and has the latest for us. Alice. During cross-examination, an attorney for Mr. Trump asked E. Jean Carroll if she knew about a 2012 Law & Order SVU episode where a woman is raped in a Bergdorf dressing room. She said she was aware. During redirect, her attorney asked her if she had ever seen it and if she had based her accusation on it. She said she had never seen it and no, she did not. Jean Carroll entered the courthouse with supporters chanting outside. Inside, an attorney for former President Trump continued to try to poke holes in her credibility, asking why she never called police. Carroll told the court she was born in 1943. I'm a member of the silent generation. You kept your chin up. Attorney Joe Tacopina noted she called police on teenagers on Halloween once for vandalism. Carroll said that's the only time she's ever called them because it was a landmark home she was staying at, so she felt she should. Tacopina Pina said, so you would call the police if a mailbox is attacked, but not if you're attacked? She replied she was ashamed of the alleged rape and thought it was her fault. He noted she advised readers of her column to call police numerous times. Carol said she reached a point at age 76 at which she decided she wasn't going to be silent anymore. In addition to the accusation against Trump, in her 2019 memoir, she also detailed an alleged assault in an elevator by former CBS chairman and CEO Les Moonves when she was in her 50s. When asked why she didn't sue Moonves, she says he simply denied it and didn't grind my face into the mud like Donald Trump did. Carol alleges Trump raped her in 1996 in a dressing room at Bergdorf Goodman after what she thought was a funny and flirtatious encounter. He says it didn't happen and he doesn't know her. She's suing for battery and defamation after she says he called her a liar, political operative, and essentially ugly. Takapina said after her book came out, she told people life was fabulous. Carol said that's just how she presents herself to the world. I don't want anybody to know I suffer, but in this courtroom, I'm being forced to tell the truth. Cried at one point on the stand today, saying that this lawsuit, filing this lawsuit, has been a way for her to take back some control. The trial resumes tomorrow. Live outside of the federal courthouse in Lower Manhattan, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Okay, Alice, thank you.